This YouTuber disappeared after being caught for being a freak, returned with no lesson learnt, and now being caught once again. So the person we're talking about in this video is EDP445, and where to begin with this guy, I'm not too sure. If you've never heard of him, which, you know, you should have, he's a 30-year-old bloke who loves to send pictures of his poo to underage girls as a flirting tactic. What's up? What are you doing? Nothing much, lol, just watching Netflix. Poo picture! <laughs> Dropped a mean-ass shit. EDP45, everyone. So I think this sort of sums up of what kind of shit goes on in his mind. No pun intended, of course. But if you weren't aware, this guy was a part of huge controversy a couple of years ago. He previously got caught for meeting up with a 13-year-old girl who was actually a decoy. So he got trolled and he fell for it. And uh, he didn't learn any lesson. Soon after being caught, he disappeared. And people wondering, you know, you know, he just disappeared off the internet. There's no recovering from this, okay? There's no way he can get a job, because if you look on Google and type in his name, all sorts of stuff comes up about him being a p-file. He can't make any videos because he's not going to get any views, and he can't sell any merch because everyone knows what kind of person he is. So, you know, he comes back just for a little bit, and then... Yeah, he, get, he gets caught again. <laughs> and even if this guy tries to make new YouTube accounts, new TikTok accounts, Instagram accounts, Twitter accounts, no platform wants him on there. No platform wants a huge freak like him, alright? So he's basically banned from everything. So getting into him being caught once again, a person called Jidion actually confronted him and recorded it, and uh, Jidion was dressed as a cupcake. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. And the other person who was there was a bloke called Skeeter Jean, and he actually runs a YouTube channel where he basically catches predators. So that's great to know that, you know, EDP445 has literally run into the dragon's cave, right into the lion's mouth. Oh, there he is, look, there he is. Oh, sorry, EDP445. No miners for you today, fatty. But anyway, enough chattering. Let's check out this clip together. This is not a fucking joke, man. I'm just selling that once for words. You know, two years ago, you were caught. Kiss my ass in 4K, trying to meet a 13-year-old. Really I'm not talking to you. He's talking to you. My nigga, this is bullshit, man. I'm talking right now. Sir, you've been caught trying to meet up with a miner. Kiss my ass. No thanks, Brian. I've seen the kind of shit that comes out of your ass. Looks like you eat takeaways every night, you absolute reckless animal. And I love as well how after he was caught, he calls bullshit and he acts like as if it was an honest mistake. Oh, so what are you doing here? You're trying to meet up with a miner? Huh? No, what's going on? Oh, wait, wait, where am I? Oh my god, how did I get here? Oh my, oh my, oh wow. Where, where am I? I'm, I must have teleported. But after they confronted EDP445, he basically diarrheaed his pants back into the store. So yeah, ran off like a pussy basically. Yes, Brian, why do you think we're here? Could you, could you answer me that, Bryant? Right. You own a prison, pal. <laughs> he thinks like if he admits it and be honest, like everything's gonna go away. <laughs> nah, pal, you're going to prison, EDP 445. And trust me, Brian, you don't wanna know what they do to pedophiles in jail. Just a little side note as well. I know I say this in most videos, but if I am sweating, it, it, it's because of the temperature in this room, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, yeah, really, really hot air. Oh, but honestly, you should see the dirt they have on this guy. Like, they have some really humiliating stuff. And he just ran back in the store, just cow us in between the darkness and shadows. I love how Skeeter Jean as well has been so polite to this freak. Bryant, don't be like this, Bryant. I just have a few questions. I want to know what this picture is of you with the, the makeup on. Do you recall this picture, Bryant? Bryant, Bryant, can you look here? I just want to know what this is. Like, what in the actual fuck is this? <laughs> Come on, EDP, bloody yeah, look at that, boy! <laughs> oh my god, the best way to sum that, sum that up, man. What the actual fuck is this? <laughs> Talk about that, man. Fucking EDP 445. A little bit of makeup, is it, Brian? You like that, do you? Well, that's alright, I guess. <laughs> Just why would you send that picture? You know, guys, like, comment down below if you can think of a reason why he would send a picture of him wearing makeup. Is he trying to seduce children with that picture? Okay, maybe, you know, maybe he's trying to look like a clown because children love clowns and, you know. But since then, 12 hours ago, there's been a few tweets posted. It's hard to know if it's actually his account. You know what, right? Just listen to this and you guys let me know what you think. The way people move in adversity tells you a lot about their character. Oh, yeah? Is that right, EDP? Is that why you ran back in the store and cowered from adversity when they confronted you? 
<laughs> we live in a day and age where everything has to be recorded on camera. If you wish to do something in private, it's considered a sin. Shit sad as fuck. Now, we don't know if that was actually him, but he also posted something, you know, all about we live in a day and age. Listen to this one from the 3rd of September. We live in a day and age where little skank assholes go around here purposely trying to set blah 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 up. Bitch, get a life and get off the internet. Firstly, EDP, you need to remove yourself from the internet. You need to be in prison. You shouldn't even have the access to the internet. You're dangerous, EDP. You're a criminal. Second of all, we live in a day and age. Are you not happy with the day and age we live in? Was it a lot easier to groom children back in the day when you were younger? Well, unlucky EDP, your time's run out, fella. It's not so easy to groom anymore. So, uh, go and take a shit and rub it all over your face, you freak. He's probably the guy who loves the smell of poo. Do you know what I mean? Like, you look at him, you think, oh, yeah, he definitely loves the smell of poo, he does. It's like he probably sticks his fingers up his bum and then doesn't wash them after and he just leaves them on there for hours and, like... Oh, yeah. yeah. However, it does actually get better since Jidian, the guy who was in the first video dressed as a cupcake, actually pretended to be, you know, on EDP 45 site. Pretended to be like a fan of his and went on stream and uh, spoke to him. And oh my God, it is absolutely hilarious. Is the allegation is true, bro? Like, I'm just really trying to figure out. Lawyer. Lawyer? Mm. Wait, do you actually have a lawyer working on the process and shit? I don't say shit, lawyer. <laughs> yeah, because you don't be like riding on yourself, you know. You can't, you can't be snitching on yourself. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. But like, I feel like, I feel like people are just trying to set you up at this point. Like, I don't know, like, what's going on, but like, it doesn't even seem real at this point. You know what I mean? They are. Do you? I, did you? What do you? What do you? What do you do with that hate? I mean, he eats cupcakes. That's what he does. What's up, Brian? Yeah, remember me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My guy was like, I feel like people are trying to set you up, Brian, and and and, and he went, Yeah, they are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, they are trying to set you up. They're pretending to be a child as a decoy to see if you'd make the same mistake again. And guess what, buddy? You did. So, you know, next time, just shut your ass up, bro, and just go to McDonald's or something, you know? I just love how this guy is so in denial about the fact that he's a massive stinky nonce. At this point, EDP445 shouldn't even be around, okay? He should literally be in prison. This guy is never going to change. He's going to keep making the same mistake. And I've seen enough pictures of shit today to know that I never, ever want to talk about this guy again. Unless you want the part two then. Comment down below if you want part two. Now the thing is with part two is this 15 year old girl actually came out and spoke about her experience with this man. Showed the DMs and he would like threaten her and stuff. Like if she ever grasped on him. If she ever told on him about the things he's doing. You know the antics. That he would like do some serious damage to her. So that would be in part two if you want to see part two. Just comment down below and you let me know. And uh, thanks for all the support recently. Subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.